Hi, I'm Klaus Hermann, founder and editor of Farbspielfoto.com, where we make your photography simple. This tutorial video is an excerpt of my personal workflow courses for Lightroom and Photoshop. If you're watching this prior to September 15th, 2015, you have the unique chance of snatching both courses as a free bonus. Just stick around till the end of the video where I will tell you how. And now, have fun with the tutorial. After I have corrected the basic exposure settings in Camera Raw, I'm going to look at the Details tab. And that's the tab where you can apply noise reduction and sharpening to your images. Um, and depending on the noise in your images, depending on uh, the lens you have, that, that may be uh, necessary more or less. Um, now what I typically do is, I'm going to zoom in to some region that uh, has some details, but also some um, areas where you, where you see which amount of noise you have in the image. And I'm typically looking at those areas at 200% magnification to really judge how much noise we have in that image. There's not a lot of noise, so down here you have the noise reduction group. I'm just grabbing that luminance slider and moving it slightly up. And you can see that the, the, the little bit of noise that we have here disappears, but also the details are lost in that process. And the way to counter this is to raise that detail slider here just slightly. Give it some more luminance reduction. Um, and I think that looks just about nice. I'm not going to touch the color uh, group because that usually does a very good job right out of the box. And then I'm going to apply some sharpening up here. I'm raising the amount and you see that the default settings already have some sharpening applied. So that's, the, that's a very subtle kind of input sharpening that, that uh, Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom give you. I'm going to erase the sharpen, raise the sharpening amount. The, uh, the radius slider lets you decide with which, which size of details you want to sharpen. If you go to a pixel or below, the very fine details are going to be sharpened, going to be sharpened at the pixel level. If you bring it up to a higher radius, like three pixels, for example, you're going to see that those details here are sharpened more than the fine details in your images. And I think a radius of one, maybe a bit more. I'm looking at, at, at those this type uh, that's been carved in this metal plate here. That looks about nice. Okay, so I'm applying some noise reduction and some sharpening, and it's important to note that those two things should always go together. So noise reduction and sharpening are two ways of fighting noise and at the same time getting some of the details back that you lose by doing that. Now there's one important final thing that I'm doing, and you should be doing it, uh, when you sharpen an image in a Camera Raw. And this, that is the masking slider, because usually what you want to sharpen are the edges in your image. And uh, the default setting just sharpens everything. So also those, uh, those parts where you have no details that are actually going to be sharpened, and you're only going to bring out the noise in those areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm holding down the Alt key, which is kind of the magic key in, in uh, Camera Raw and Lightroom, and I'm going to grab that masking slider. And when I drag that to the right, you see that at first the entire image is white, which means all of it is going to be sharpened. And as I drag it to the right, you see that black patches start to appear. And those are the areas w with little to no detail in the image. And those are not going to be sharpened. So that's essentially a layer mask. White means everything inside those white areas is going to be sharpened. Black means everything that black that's black is not going to be sharpened. So you're going to want to pull that slider to the right until you only see those details that you want to apply the sharpening to. And that looks about right for me. Going to zoom out again here. And I think if you're watching this prior to September 15th, 2015, you're lucky. Because you can snatch your free copy of my personal workflow courses for Lightroom and Photoshop, and here's how it works. 
simply head over to the link below where the 5 day deal team organizes the biggest bundle sale in the history of photography. It's running between September 10th and 15th 2015 and this is your unique chance to get a huge bundle of high class photography education and tools from the world's best photographers at an insane discount. No matter which type of photography you're into, this is the best investment you can make in your own photography. And in addition to that, you can even win over $50,000 worth in prices. If you purchase the bundle through this link, I will send you the download links to my full personal workflow courses within 24 hours. But please do make sure that you use this link to start your checkout process for the bundle. Otherwise I will not have your details and I cannot send you anything. So. I hope I'll see you for the 5-day deal event. Take care and have fun.